but um, congratulate the Minister for progressing uh, this bill. Thank you. M Madam Speaker. I call the Honourable Nikki Wagner. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Um, New Zealand has plenty of clean, fresh water, but because the flow of our rivers varies naturally over time, and because different water bodies um, use it in different ways, water is not always where we need it when, when we want it. But Kiwis quite rightly expect to be able to have clean, fresh drinking water available in their homes and available in their communities. And this bill is a first step towards improving the effectiveness and efficiency of Part 2A, the drinking water section of the Health Act 1956. It's only a small step. It's really um, an administrative bill, a bit of housekeeping. It came, as we've heard, in response to the Havelock North drinking water contamination uh, incident in August 2016. And that was a significant contamination incident, affecting more than 5,000 people. Um, 45 of them were hospitalised, and we believe that three or four people um, contributed to their deaths. So it was an important, significant contamination outbreak, and we are responding to that. National, of course, was the government at the time, and we initiated an inquiry into that break, outbreak, and this bill incorporates some of the more straightforward, simple administration recommendations that came from that report. As we've heard, it's about streamlining the consultation process around water quality issues so that can be done more quickly when decisions are made. It's about clarifying water safety plans and putting an implementation date with them, which of course is important. And it tidies up the appointment process for drinking water assessors. As I've said, I think the bill can be described as general housekeeping in preparation for major legislative changes which are coming through um, after we have the three waters review. The three waters, drinking water, wastewater and stormwater. And that review is presently underway. And so the next step, the major part of this legislation, will be far more controversial than this one because it includes discussions about uh, requiring all water supplies to be treated with disinfectant, and it's about establishing a dedicated drinking water regulator or dedicated water suppliers. And I would like to take this opportunity to put on record uh, that the people of Christchurch are extremely proud of our pure artesian water. We enjoy being able to drink some of the best quality water in the world from our taps. We do not want that to change, and we are resolutely opposed to mandatory water treatment. But fortunately, that is an issue for another bill, and this is but the first step, so I commend this bill to the House. Well done. Te mana